My brother and I had nothing on, so we decided to walk from Sheffield to Manchester for no real reason. We thought we'd start here at Halib FC's Sandy Gate, the oldest football ground in the world. When he says nothing on, he doesn't mean clothes. I have clothes on. Laura, you organised this. What preparations have you got? Have you got like audit survey maps, supplies, of water and stuff? <laughs> I've got a rough idea that we're heading west. I'm not sure what road we're taking, but we should end up in Manchester. I filmed tubes doing some golf here. Uh, Hallam, Hallamshire or Hallam Golf Course, whatever. Beautiful, lovely part of the world, this. So a psychologically important bit here, we seem to have come to was the end of the bit that has road. That was road and now we're at Paths, we're next to a big reservoir. This is Red Myers Reservoirs and the Long Causeway. How are you feeling so far? How far do you think we've done? Because I've not really paid any attention. You've done all the route planning. <laughs> I've about everything. planning. We've uh, walked west basically. I would say we've probably done, what, four and a half miles? Sounds about right. Do you think so much? I can probably tell you because I've set my I've set my Strava up. 426, that's pretty good. Ooh. Pretty accurate. Ooh. Pretty good. Okay, up the hills now. Let's go do it. It's mad how far we've gone. And that, those, that's Lincolnshire over there. The, uh, the petrol station, not petrol stations. What am I trying to say? Power stations, thank you. I do love walking. It's so nice to go and explore new places. I'd normally, if it was me organising it, I'd normally have a on survey map and a compass because then I think you can go a bit more off route. You can sort of see a field and go, oh, there's a little path, let's go down there. You've got a rough idea of where you're going to end up. Whereas here we're sort of stuck to these main, main routes, but it's still incredible views. And we've not gone that long, we're only a couple of hours out of Sheffield feels so far away. Beautiful day for it. It's going to be raining the next two days, I think. What made you want to do this walk, Laurie? Um, I just like doing big walks. Uh, as you know, in 2010, I walked uh, the length of South Korea, um, and that all came about from just when I lived in Seoul I just used to walk everywhere so I'd walk three or four hours a day in a typical day just love walking yeah it's good isn't it what was it like why, what so why did you when you walked across Korea so you, when you say the left of Korea we're doing south yes sorry <laughs> um so from the from the southernmost point pretty much Busan to Seoul so, um, so most of Korea so most of Korea yeah I mean we didn't go right up to the DMZ yeah yeah and what made you you, was there any particular reason that you decided to do do it, or was it just fancied walking? Not really, just you know, just to knock off a big adventure. You know, I've never I've never done anything like that before. Sheffield to Manchester, okay, it's not quite quite the same as uh, Busan to Seoul, but it's still probably more beautiful already, to be fair. But um, yeah, just to, just wanted to have an adventure, really. I've I've been amazed by what's the phrase? Your lack of planning in the nicest possible sense for this what did you do when you were in Korea did you do a lot of planning for that no probably even even less planning mate oh, no. <laughs> I know you didn't even go on Google <laughs> I did, no I didn't go on Google I literally didn't have a smartphone I did it all with a paper map which looking back on it was absolutely mental I would not do that again what, did you just stop places in the way or were you doing as in yeah just stopped at random ho had you what? booked up place in advance to stay is what I'm saying? oh no 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 uh korea like even small villages have um small love motels nice. um so <laughs> stayed in lots of those what's a love motel uh it's a hotel where you can book them out by the hour but um, i was booking them out for the night i'd like to point out is this because a lot of koreans live with their parents yeah, that's part of the reason or their wives oh oh dear naughty koreans <laughs> Were you ever worried that you wouldn't be able to find somewhere to stay when you're travelling? I mean, in Korea, even the smallest villages seem to have like a small hotel, so not really. I mean, some days I stopped walking at about three o'clock, four o'clock quite early, just because I knew, you know, the next village would be, I don't know, five or six hours away. So just a bit of planning like that. Yeah, OK. Fair enough. What sort of, where were you eating on the way? Were you bringing food with you or were you just stopping at cafes and things again just random things stopping at cafes to, uh, again every single small village will have a 24-hour convenience store so and even there you can get something like a, a 
some gut gimbap, like a triangular seaweed with rice, and maybe some filling in the middle. So, you know, guess, like a samosa, but a seaweed samosa. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Sounds good. What's the scenery like when you're walking down from there? Because I've only I've been visiting Seoul, but I didn't really go much beyond there. What did it look like? What did it look like? I mean, so mountainous, um, rocky mountains uh, seems to be the backdrop for a lot of the way. Um, obviously started off in the beach in Busan. That's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Hyundai, I'd recommend it to anyone who's thinking about going to Korea. Um, and yeah, what can I say? Lots of mountains, lots of fields. Not as spectacular as what I've seen in the uh, Peak District already, but there we go. How far were you walking a day? Oh, at, back then, uh, you wouldn't believe it now, but uh, back then, uh, yeah, smashing out a good 30 miles a day. Um, it's good, isn't it? It is indeed. Nice. Nice. We should probably do some more walking now, shouldn't we? Shall we? just stopped for lunch at a little cafe we found in a garden center called the wild kettle cafe that's correct right next to Chateau. something like something like that feeling all right not too bad uh, a bit of pain down the inside of the legs but nothing i can't handle i think we're about an hour and a half from our destination all right what's that head it's a pub first pub of the trip Yes. Country pubs are definitely the best thing about walking, I think. It's like a little reward. I remember my friend Al and I once, we were going for a walk. We thought we had a great idea. And we thought we'd take a few cans of beer with us and we can drink them while we're walking. Why has no one thought of this? So we're going along with our cans thinking, oh, this is, we're geniuses, absolute geniuses. And we got the first pub, it wasn't as good because you'd had, there wasn't a reward, there wasn't a prize at the end. So if you ever had that idea, don't be tempted. Don't be tempted, just hold out, wait for the pub, because that was glorious. About 13 and a half miles done on day one. We've checked into our house. Cheshire cheese. The old Cheshire cheese, I think it might be called. Something cheese related to probably written in the corner. Feels alright to be honest. I, I thought I'd feel slightly worse. I know I've run more than this, but it's it's different, it's hilly. My bag's got my laptop and this camera in it a lot of the time, so it's quite heavy. Um, but it's okay, I think tomorrow's gonna be the hard day the hardest of the three days is longer what do we've got to go up a big pass up a hill pretty much straight away and i think it's going to be raining as well but it's what 424 i think i'll just freshen up maybe have a quick shower I'll go and try and check out the bars that carlston has to offer but i'll leave you here just can't be bothered carrying anything anywhere else anyway bye bye Sorry to interrupt, just want to have a quick chat before we get back to the walking video. Now some of you will have noticed that I've had quite a few brand deals on the channel lately and thank you for being so patient with them. These are a good thing for me and hopefully for you because it means I can dedicate more time to making videos, making content and hopefully make better stuff more regularly in the future. Now this flurry of brand activity got me thinking about how I could use this platform that I've got for the greater good and to help organizations and causes and charities that I'm, I guess, passionate about. And this is the idea that I've come up with. For want of a better title, I'm gonna call it Social Brand Deals. It's a working title. We can come up with something better in the future. And the way it's gonna work is occasionally in videos, I'm gonna do a brand deal style segment for a, an organization that I'm passionate about it'll work in the same way as a brand deal in that i'll, I'll work with the, the organization themselves they'll have approval of what goes in that limited segment and the only difference is that i won't charge them any money or get any financial benefit from doing it it's just to highlight a, a thing that i think is doing good 
I think it's a good idea, but let me know what you think in the comments. And in the meantime, let's enjoy the first one of those where I tell you about a brilliant organisation called The Feed. The Feed is a Norwich-based social enterprise that helps prevent poverty, homelessness and hunger in the city. They do some incredible work including providing hot meals to rough sleepers, helping people get into training, education or employment and they've even opened up a social supermarket that provides help to those affected by the cost of living crisis. They also run five cafes around the city including this one on Prince of Wales Road. If you live in Norwich or want to support the feed you can pop in and buy a coffee or a sandwich next time you're walking down to the station. What's really exciting though is that the feed always have a sandwich of the month and this year guess who they've let design it? This guy! It's called the Smashed Meatball Special and is one of my finest culinary achievements. There's even a vegan version too so if you're in Norwich at all this month get yourself down to the feed and eat the greatest sandwich ever created. Now back to the walk. It's Tuesday morning now, day two, and as you can see, it is raining pretty miserable. Lovely stay last night at the old Cheshire Cheese Inn. Very nice, would recommend it if you're in these parts and need somewhere to stay. Good food as well, nice rooms. Now we're gonna head up there, which looks very steep and very wet. And quite fantastically, my brother's chosen that to decided he doesn't need to bring a coat for this. Incredible lack of planning, I admire that. Gonna get this cave some sheep are gardening it. What are you doing? Oh, that's cute. Little cave. We'll leave it if you're guarding it, it's fine. I'll get another time. My brother might be the last to see of him. Obviously, he didn't feel particularly safe on that road, a bit wider, so I've gone and taken a footpath here that maybe will take me the same place. Hopefully. We'll see. Bye bye Nox study. Fabulous morning so far. The rain stopped. Still windy. We're not that far from lunch. He's alive. We're back. And we're near Chapel on the Fee. Our first lunch stop. Well, oh, I already lunch stop, we only one lunch. So I reckon we're about an hour away from our hotel, uh, which seems to be some kind of spa or something. I've not really paid any attention to what we're doing before we left, really. I left Laurie to sort it all out. Um, but he seems to pick some pretty good places. This place looks really good. I've not brought any swimwear, so maybe they'll sell some shorts. So I'm going to have a little swim or something. I'm not going to get my pants. I think. No, that's allowed. But it's been, it's been alright. It was nice going over earlier on today, going over the pass, even though it was rainy. It was quite good. But it's been a bit too much main road for my liking. A little bit of a fear of death for more countryside anything, but this is a bit more of a quiet road now. I think we're past the worst of it and I think we can just enjoy a lovely little saunter down to our hotel. How you feeling? Are you a little twinge in the calf? Yeah, not too bad though, not too bad. I've still got a couple of hours left in me. Don't really need that much, do we? No, we don't. How you doing, sheep, okay? You've had like half a haircut, did you escape? It's like a Ronaldo 2005 haircut, pretty much all gone, just a little tuft at the, well, at the back, this one. So we're just approaching the hotel now, walk out their driveway. It's hit 35,000 steps for the day, which is pretty good. And what's also exciting is that over there, you can see Manchester. So we've not got too far, I mean, it's a long way away, but we've not got too far to do tomorrow. So yeah. I can't wait to take my shoes off. So we've made it to our rather grand looking hotel. I'm gonna go check in, rest my feet. Hi. Morning. Just doing my now regular plastering of my feet for any 
blisters that are starting to arrive or anything like that or anything that feels a bit sore trying to avoid any issues before they develop too much and it's been working pretty well so far I think in pretty good state so well done plasters early start this morning we're leaving at 7.15 right all checked out and time for the final assault on Manchester which is over there I can literally see it let's go How are you feeling, Laurie? How's the uh, how are the feet? I'm feeling I'm feeling above average at the moment. Last night uh, was a struggle. At one point, I thought I might not be walking today, but I forgot about the restorative effects of a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, big up sleep. Doesn't get enough praise, does it? Just having a little break here. We are about 20 minutes away from what I'm going to term the centre of Manchester so I think it's fairly safe to say we are going to achieve our goal of walking in Sheffield to Manchester we're within the Manchester boundaries anyway I think we've already kind of done it depending on what your definition is I feel all right I've got blisters I bought before I came out I bought a big bag of plasters I think I've probably got about seven on my feet at the minute a few others I've used on previous days but I'm feeling pretty good if I had to go on for another few hours I could do rather not but it's gonna be quite nice to get in there sit down and get a bit of lunch and chill out before my train good city Manchester in it really like so we sat down relaxing because we have completed our walk we're next to piccadilly station almost next to just over there um which is where laurie's getting his train back from so we're done three days of walking sheffield to manchester we've made it how's it been for you laurie it's been good it's been good i'm a little bit too old for this maybe or too fat um but it was a lot easier i used to do long walks before but um anyway i needed this i needed to shake the cobwebs off what would you do have done in hindsight, what would you have done differently? Anything? Uh, no, not a lot really. Um, no, I think uh, I think with long walks, you just need to get on with it really. I mean, you know, you can you can do lots of preparation, etc. Ultimately, especially if you're walking somewhere like you know a crowded country like the UK, you're never going to be more than a couple of hours away from the next shop, the next pub, the next restaurant, etc. I just think you know, just just get on with it basically. That's what advice would you give to someone who is? planning on doing a big walk or something is it just to get on with it yeah probably like I say just um, you know you can uh, you plan to your blue in the face um, ultimately yeah just get, get your shoes on and start walking I mean uh, assuming you're not doing anything wild like uh, mountain climbs climbing over like uh, rocks and you know, cliffs yeah just need to just need to walk wonderful well I better let you get your train so hopefully it's not that one because it's leaving but yeah a pleasure walking with you Holmes Word up and uh, do another walk soon. Let's do it. Wave bye. So I'm in Piccadilly Gardens now, where I'm officially going to be stopping my walk. 16 and a half miles done today, many miles when you add them all together. Uh, and it's been great, it's been great to hang out with my brother. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad. Dr. Laurie, thank you for letting me hijack your walk. Uh, my tips. For anyone walking if you just want to go somewhere then yeah you can just go on google maps like we did and find a route between two places personally my favorite parts have been when i've been off the beaten track and wandering around through fields and stuff like that so i prefer walking with ordnance survey map and planning the route out a bit planning where you're gonna find a nice pub for lunch that sort of thing but horses for courses but i think the most important thing is as laurie sort of said if you want to do it Go and do it. Go walking, have an adventure, see what you can do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Back with another video soon. Hopefully, our walking series will return properly in the near future. Cheerio.